Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are here to celebrate the life of one who has gone on. That's right. But memories remain in our hearts. That of Brother Dale Alexander Stewart Sr. Amen. Amen. So let's have a celebration. Amen. Let's celebrate his life. Let's do it in a way that is filled with joy and filled with love. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Our Father and our God, great and mighty are you. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. And there is none like you. In times like these, we need a God who is not far from us. In times like these, we need a God who sits high but looks low. In times like these, we need a God who is able to wipe every tear from our eyes. And we are thankful this morning that we can come to you in times like these. We are thankful that you are with us at all times. Your word says that you would never leave us nor forsake us. So Father God, we come now asking that you cover this family like only you can. Bring comfort, oh God, like only you can. Bring peace, Father, like only you can. You know all things. And we're so grateful to have had Brother Stewart with us for as long as we did. We thank you for the laughs. We thank you for the times of togetherness. We thank you for the love. We thank you for his presence. We thank you, God, for all that he brought to the earth. And now, oh God, as we walk this last mile, we just ask that you continue to be a hedge around us. That you continue to cover this family. That you continue to stand with this family like only you can. God, we give you all the glory. Because even in this, you are still worthy of all of our glory and all of our praise. We owe it all to you, Father. So we thank you. In the midst of heart, we thank you. In the midst of tears, we thank you. In the midst of our downtroddenness, we thank you that things are as well as they are. And we will keep a praise even in the midst of the storm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We will now have a selection from Sister Jeremy Maxwell, followed by the scripture reading. Old Testament will be by the Reverend Edna M. Walthour, and New Testament will be by Brother Jake Powell. Please come in that one.
in the words of Bishop Paul Morton, seasons change. Yes. Okay, I see the nine on the front row. All right. <laughs> From Ecclesiastes, third chapter. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather together those stones. A time to embrace. A time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. For what profit has he that worked, that wherein he labored? I've seen the travail which God has given to the sons of men to be exercised in. I've seen those times. The 11th verse says, He has made everything beautiful. Hello. Uh, you were at a time like this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank all that you got to do is believe and put your trust in Him. Not 100%, Come on. but 110%. Come on. Put your trust in the Lord. Because he, did not, he said, do not let your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Say so. yes. In my Father's house, yes. there is many, many yes. men. Yes. And if I was there, I would tell you I have told you. That's right. That's right. So now I'm going to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to prepare this place for you there, I will return and receive you unto myself. Yeah. I say, where I am. Come on. 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 Jesus said, Philip, you need to tell me you better run it up and down the highway with me, up and down the highway with me. Don't you know that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Yes. So if you don't believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, then believe in me for the works that you saw me perform. What work did you perform? Did you saw what I called the Anthony Son of the Great? Come on. You saw what I made the blind man walk. Yes. You saw what I did to blind man to say back to you. Uh -huh. So when you believe in me, believe totally in me. Not, not 50%, not 99 and one half percent. Uh -huh. But I need you to believe in me. 100% because I have all power. All power. Say something. Amen. Amen.
and then we will come back with reflections. Three reflections, one by Brother David Miller, one by Valerie Luckett Merritt, and then there will be one that will be played for us to listen to by uh, Sister Sandra Bell. And I say brother and sister Valerie Luckett Merritt. All right, please come in that word. This is going to go hard with what Jake just said. Mm -hmm. um, because God's plans are not like ours, they're higher than ours. I know what I was asked to do, but I'm obedient to the Spirit of the Lord as well. And I'm going to give you just what it gave me, and we'll be okay with that.
for long in the of the word about the um I probably ever call a deal. <laughs> Me and I got to sleep in here. I see a lot of the classmates. Y'all need deal by deal. Y'all know me by deal. But it's free and group. Yeah, whole different name. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Maxi, you know, the dear you probably know what that name I'm about to say what it is. <laughs> and the man I use that name on me and me and Dale before as well. Uh-huh. And we got it from a from a Jamaican. <laughs> and um, we used to hang out with him a lot. And he started calling us Bub. So our nickname was Bub. Every time Dale talked to me, hey, Bub, what's going on? <laughs> Communicate with each other. Yes. But I'm gonna tell you, like a brother, yes. they're right next door to me. Now, before I go any further, I need to ask one question. And I mean, I mean, I've been to a lot of people, right? But I ain't never seen one that ain't got no time for nobody. Like me. <laughs> Yeah. So when Neil Mandels 
commitment to God, that he was going to accept Jesus, mm -hmm. I promise you, according to the scripture, mm -hmm. the Bible will even be with him. Yeah. So I'm going for you guys. Yeah. If you ain't got anything else to hold on, hold on to the fact that Jesus is in the praise yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. Ain't yeah. nobody yeah. trying to put him in heaven. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. trying to put him in heaven. The scripture says, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And when you ask him to forgive you all your sins, guess what? He's forgiven you. Yeah. The right name is he'll forgive you. Yeah. So I'm excited yeah. about the fact that he's in heaven. We'll see him. You better say something. Now, if you ain't right with Jesus, you may not see him. Come on. But I know for a fact that you right with Jesus, you will see him again. Come on. And we had a 
a family funeral, so she asked Dale to take her to the dog. She didn't want us to know, but Dale had already told me he was there. So they ride all the way from Clarenceville to Savannah to the dock. After the doctor court was over, Mama said she looking across the room, she see the man looking at her. And then she looking at the man. And I said, Dale, what happened? She said, Mom, this is what Mama said, y'all. Uh, who is that white right man looking at me? <laughs> of eighth grade. He was the sole male and I was the sole female and we were put in class 8A1, one of the 16 sections of eighth grade at Bradwell. It was some rough times, but we made it through because we had each other to depend on. Dale helped me in math because I couldn't do no math. So he was my tutor. He taught me the quadratic equation and believe it or not he was so good at it that i still remember it and i didn't do no math i remember preparing for the easter program back when my list was terrible and i kept saying gilly for lily and you kept saying lily it's lily like your aunt and i finally got it because i had a great tutor Dale could light up a room. He was like a rooster going cock-a-doodle-doo. And he would tell a joke. I mean, it would be something silly. But he would laugh and he was infectious. Everybody else would laugh too. Even if they didn't know what he was talking about. He had that kind of magnetism and effect on the room. He was just there. If Dale said he was going to do something, he did it. His word was his bond. You told him to show up at noon, he'd show up at a quarter tell. He was just that kind of person. And I know 
he was more than that to his children and his mom, Annie Mae. So, Dale, we miss you, and I will miss you forever. Sleep on, take your rest. We loved you, but we know God loves you best. Let your light continue to shine wherever you are, and know that I will be looking for you. Your tour of the 
Brother Dale Stewart. Tell me something about him. Everybody had one thing in common. And that one thing was he was joyful. He loved to laugh. It was something about his presence that brought joy and laughter and happiness. It was something that brought warmth. Whether it was a handshake at the door, whether it was a hug, whether it was a joke, there was a lot of joy around him always. Isn't that a gift? Yes, yes. To be able to yes, turn any situation yes, yes. and find joy yes. in any type of situation. Yes, yes. And, and it's even more when the gift is shared for you. Amen. When everybody can say, we experience the peace of Dale's joy. Amen. And I think that this morning, this afternoon, he would want us to lean into that joy. He would remind us like what it says in Nehemiah 8 and 10, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, yes. And it must be true, and he must have known that joy. Uh -huh. Because remember now, the joy doesn't come from this world. That's right. My mama would say it like this, this joy that I have. The world
behind a legacy of joy. Everybody who got up to speak said something funny or inside joke that they had with Brother Dale. Everybody said he had a way of making you feel welcome, of making you laugh, of making you know that you matter, of making you feel loved at all times. That's joy in action. And it's important that we carry the legacy of joy. Because there are going to be days when the tears fall. And you will have to dig down to find some joy. There are going to be days when our shoulders will be a little slumped. Thank <laughs> you. 